Today, we're going to take a look at the timeless 1960 Cadillac line of luxury cars. If this is something that interests you, then you've come to the right place. Hi, we're Charging's Retro Cars. Welcome to our channel. Sit back with us and take a stroll down memory lane. In 1960, Cadillac had been a symbol of status and prestige for 58 years, with the first completed Cadillac produced in 1902. Even in the entry-level form, the Cadillac was a statement to affirm your level of success in society. The 62 Coupe, with a base price of $4,475, this would equal $45,099 in 2023. And with 19978 produced, this would be the entry-level model. The 62 sedan six window with a base price of $4,650. This would equal $46,862 in 2023. And with 26,824 produced, this would be the highest produced model for the series 62 cars. The 62 sedan four window is distinguished by its flat roof and rear brow overhang and more upright rear window as compared to the more sloping rear glass of the other roof lines. With a base price of $4,650, this would equal $46,862 in 2023. And with 9,984 produced, it has the lowest production number for the Series 62 models. The 62 convertible was an elegant car with a tasteful amount of bright work. The convertible was attractive with the top up, and when the top was down, had the illusion that it was a football field in length. With a base price of $5,000, this would equal $50,390 in 2023. 14,000 were produced and found their way to driveways across America. Coupe DeVille Series 63 two-door hardtop is a higher trim level than the Series 62. Main differences are to be found on the interior. With its sloping roofline and almost fastback style, it was the perfect mid-level Cadillac. With a base price of $4,810, this would equal $48,475 in 2023. And with 21585 produced, it has the second most production number for the Series 63 models. The Fleetwood 60 Special Sedan is in a category of its own. Exterior trim had chrome hash marks placed at the rear quarter panel and could quickly distinguish this model as a Fleetwood. Available only as a four-door model, the base price was $5,700 and equates to $57,444 in 2023. Production of this model was 11,800. Sedan DeVille four window is another of the pillarless hardtops with a flat rooftop. Though just as elegant and refined as the other DeVilles, it found only 9,225 in production with a base price of $5,040 and equates to around $58,000 in 2023. Sedan DeVille six window is the final installment in the DeVille lineup. A stunning hardtop with sloping roof and two additional windows in the rear passenger area with the highest production number for DeVilles at 22,579 and base price at $5,040. This like the four window equates to $58,000 in 2023. 
The El Dorado Baritz was the highest trim level and has a host of standard features that was offered as optional on lower base model Cadillacs. Special side and rear trim were unique to the El Dorado trim level. Standard to El Dorado was the Rochester triple two barrel carburation system. 1960 saw a production number of the beautiful Baritz at 1,285 units. With a price of $6,817, this equals $68,700 in 2023. The El Dorado Seville had the same high level of standard features as the Baritz and was easily distinguished with the El Dorado script at the front fender and rear trunk lid. These cars let onlookers know that they were in the presence of a top-of-the-line Cadillac. Production for the Seville was $1,057 and shared the same price as the Baritz at $6,817. This equals to $68,700 in 2023. Fleetwood 75 sedan and limousine. These were the executive and personal class limousines. These cars were used to transport busy executives to corporate offices or found parked in front of mansions waiting to chauffeur a well-to-do person to the golf course or yacht club. Production for the sedan was $718 and price $8,750, which is $88,200 in 2023. Production for the limousine was $832 and price was $8,950 and equates to $90,200 in 2023. The El Dorado Brome was the pinnacle for 1960 model year. No other car could match the prestige of the Brome as it was clearly reflected in its cost. These were reserved for the buyer that didn't ask what it cost. If you liked it, you bought it. Available only as a four-door, the production numbers were an incredibly low 101 units that made their way to the most prominent driveways. At almost double the cost of a Baritz or Seville, coming in at a staggering $13,075, that's around $132,000 in 2023. Cadillac offered a long list of options to bring any base model to whatever level you wanted from bucket seat interiors, two-tone paint, performance options, and more. With the exception of the Series 75 sedan and limousine, which rode on a wheelbase of 149.8 inches and has a length of 244.8 inches, they were all on a 130-inch wheelbase and a whopping 225 inches in length. Standard was the 390 cubic inch engine in all models and produced 325 horsepower, 430 foot-pounds of torque with a single four-barrel carburetor as standard. The exception was the Eldorado that came standard with three two-barrel carbs producing 345 horsepower and was optional on all other models. I hope you have enjoyed this brief look at the 1960 Cadillac. Stay tuned, subscribe, and click the bell icon to know when we have more videos in the future, where we will look back at other great American cars and trucks.